they're probably, you know, the softest team we played against, you know, in this road trip, and you know, we should have had these two points. In what way would you say soft? Well, I think you know we we played some good teams, and I think you know we probably should have beat these guys. To be honest with you, it caught me off guard uh, when Stan brought it up uh, after the game. It surprised me. Um, I, I've never heard a player say that, and you know Joe is a heck of a player, but he's a player popping off about our team, and Joe hasn't won a goddamn thing in this league. He could go down as a player, being one of the better players in our league, never to win anything. So what he should do is just shut up. Seemed like your third line had a really great game tonight. Who was who was that? The Stoll Williams mm -hmm. King line. Yeah, they were good. That was Jeff Carter today. It's awesome. I wish I was Jeff Carter today. <laughs> it's not always whether you win or lose. It's whether you're winning or losing. <laughs> well, he's already, he already showed enough disrespect uh, over there, so we don't really care about what that bug-eyed fat walrus has to say. Bug-eyed? I've never been called that before. That's a new one. Walrus? Yeah, that's too easy. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm not fat. <laughs> I might be husky, but I'm not fat. I'm not impressed. It's a pathetic performance. Half of the team doesn't care. I really start to believe their goals is to be the worst defensive squad in the league. They turn the puck over, you know, they have no vision. They soft, like I never see a bunch of defensemen soft like this. There's a lot of guys don't care. They pretend to care, but I know they don't care. As a coach, that I get the feeling that team care for each other, wow. They make my job miserable, so it's give and take. What can I do? Yeah, it's a couple of quick goals, and um, it's what it is, Chip. It's a surge, and again, we need a we need a goddamn occasional save when that happens, eh? And listen, Johnny's trying like hell, but. Four goals and 16 shots. Uh, I'm a little tired of the 25% rule. Will you see Sean Burton? Goddamn right you will. If you dress him again and he takes another dumb penalty, I'm going to kill him. So do me a favor, save his life, don't dress him. There's no way Alex Alva is going to be on this team this year unless he flew to France during the summer and bathed in the holy waters at Lourdes. I want to point out to the officials that Todd Bertuzzi does not play for Detroit. It just looks like that because he's wearing two or three red sweaters all the time. Sedin is not English for punch me or headlock me in a scrum. We require as a team proper levels of pugnacity, testosterone, truculence, and belligerence. The knee on knee hit that goes after his head he dives afterwards. He's known as a diver. He couldn't take the hit that we gave him, so he knocks our guy out of the lineup for probably weeks. That's a joke. I want him suspended. I want him fined. I'll come to the hearing. I haven't called the league once. I'll call him 10 times tomorrow. If you go knee on knee and take a shot at a guy's head at the same time, you don't deserve to be in the game. We're going to the playoffs. You're going to take out one of our best players because you couldn't take a hit? That's a joke. That's an absolute joke, is what it is. He dove early in the game, he dove on Jokin, and he took his knee out and he gave him a headshot. And we get a penalty on the play? That's a joke. That's the definition of a joke right there. That's a hockey, you know, it's only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? He's a good guy. He may be tired to live here and because here is a November month, is a minus 32. Could you imagine? I have a great news and even better news. Give us, give us the great news and then the better news. Okay, great news. I'm not playing tomorrow night. And good news, I have a chance to win the game. What's your mindset going into tomorrow? Ah, uh, make sure I'm not forget early in the morning my uh, thermos, put some nice tea, and enjoy the bench. I don't know where you get this information, but did, be honest. Did you read yourself what you're writing, huh? That's embarrassing, huh? 
Are you answering no questions or what? I guess that's what I'm saying, Brooksy. You get that through your head? I guess so. Yeah. I mean, it's time to waste the time. Well, then get the fuck out of here then. Yeah. Okay, see ya. Oh. Next question. Other guys are taking the third man in. I'm not going to answer any questions from you. You're not? No. Oh, good. Yeah. I'll speculate. You speculate and be as sarcastic as you I can will. be, as you usually oh, I are. I will. Go right ahead. Good. Did, uh, should one of you guys be taking the third man in? I said I'm not taking your, answering any of your questions. No. Have you ever fought before? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Why? Are you challenging me now? No, no, I'm not okay. challenging you. Okay. You know, Red, Redden, Redden sticks up for his teammates the other night. Yeah. And you come come out with some sarcastic article. It was funny. It was funny. Yeah. Well, you know what? You were probably beat up in the bus stop most of the time. I think so, huh? <laughs> I like Patrick's quote that he would have stopped me. I just want to know. Just want to know where he was in Game Three. <laughs> probably getting his jock out of the stands on the. Out of the Raptors United Center. I can't really hear what Jeremy says because I got my two Stanley Cup rings plugging my ear.